There is no program, AI or robot, who can DJ better than a human. It's just, it's not possible, right? Today, I am going to give you five reasons why a robot will never replace a DJ. Well, not yet anyway. So let's check it out. Robots lack creativity. In the DJ world, you're only as good as your next gig. If you don't have the ability to improvise and or adapt to any situation, it could be a problem for your career. <laughs> you know, if you, if you don't know how to like be creative behind a DJ booth or in a DJ booth, if you can't like do things live, if you don't know how to, you know, basically read a crowd or something like that, it could be a problem. Now, can a robot be creative? And I guess a robot can be creative, right? But in terms of DJing, you know, a robot is a program. The robot does exactly what the program says. So they can't be creative based on a crowd, right? Because it's just a program, you know, and I'm not quite sure if there's a, like a visual aspect, you know, the robot have cameras or something like that. They can see what's going on and then adapt to that. Maybe AI can do that built into the robot and, you know, just audio, right? So robots, they just don't have the creativity as a human DJ. They just, they lack the creativity. It's, it's not coming there. Not yet. Robots do not have the ability to interpret human abilities or human emotions, I should say. So take this for example. Emotions are kind of hard to figure out. You know, someone can be going through something emotional and you may not even know it because, you know, they just hold it a certain way or they don't project that weird on their sleeve, anything like that. So it really doesn't work, right? Imagine a robot. A DJ has to interpret human emotions on the dance floor. When you're behind the decks, and you're looking out into the crowd, your music is creating emotion on the dance floor, right? It's creating emotions. A robot will never be able to figure that out. Look into a crowd and say, hey, that person right there or the group of women over there, like, you know, just dancing to my music, I'm going to play specifically for them. That doesn't happen, right? <laughs> because it's a robot. All they're doing is programming. You know, they're just doing what the program says to do. That's it. Playing a song, whatever. In the goofy sort of videos and things like that you see of robots DJing, it's goofy. It's just goofy, right? Robots can't feel the music. Being a DJ, being a musician, being a person in a recording studio, you have to feel the music. Because as a DJ, I'm excited to DJ, but I'm also excited just to feel the music and the energy inside of a room, right? So you have this sort of emotions and you also have just the reactions. And you know, those people on the dance floor, they're feeling the music, they're dancing, right? So that's being pushed back to you. Those emotions are being pushed back to you. And then you start playing differently based on what you see on a dance floor. It's just, it's that simple. You, you have to feel the music, you have to feel the crowd. A robot can never feel the music like a human can. Here's a robot playing, and I don't know where this robot is playing. I, I think if a robot was playing in a big festival, like, you know, some of the festival goers may be pissed off because they just pay, you know, $500, $1,000, whatever it is, you know, to go to this festival to hang out for three days and chill out with their friends. And then you have a robot coming on, right? They may like the music the robot is playing, but it's not the same. Another example is if I'm playing hip hop, that's what I'm doing. Someone hired me to play hip hop. I never do that. I don't play hip hop out, right? But let's just say someone like hired me to play hip hop. And the next thing you know, I switch it over to country music. That's what a robot would do because a robot do not understand human culture. They do not understand that hardcore country music does not go with hardcore hip hop. It just doesn't work. DJs have swag. We have swag. You know, look at all the outfits that some of these DJs wear. I was watching a video where um, DJ Pierre was DJing like in his studio and he had on like a space suit, <laughs> right? I mean, Dead Mouse had on a helmet, you know, uh, Steve Aoki, you know, jumping into the 
crowd and throwing cakes and things like that. Kind of silly, <laughs> you know, but still, that's the swag that a, a human DJ gives off. That's the swag that the human DJ gives back to the crowd. I'm not even going to say I don't know because I do know that a robot does not have swag. Absolutely not. You need that swag. Swag gives you confidence, right? I mean, especially if you're playing in a big room. So, you know, you got a crowd of 500, 1,000 people. You need that swag, that confidence to start playing your set and be confident playing your set from start to end and understanding all those things in between. Crowd, noise, smell, people, people dancing. Do you need to turn the bass down? Is a robot messing around with controls or is a robot just spinning one record after the other, not using any effects, you know, nothing like that. And how are they transitioning from song to song? Are they just playing one song and then when it reaches the end, they're mixing in the other one? Kind of corny, right? So those are just some things, five reasons why a robot will never replace a DJ yet. So calm down. Everything is fine. You're still going to have a gig tomorrow. And don't forget to check out our t-shirts on Amazon, exclusively on Amazon. We have some really great designs. It helps the channel out. And, and you receive your t-shirt in two days. Two days. Order on Amazon. Receive your t-shirts in two days. Help the channel out and leave a comment. Until next time, peace.